You are required for nothing, least of all for me. Welcome to the Lore of Thetis, a series where we uncover the vast lore, history, and secrets within the world of Dragon Age. Today's subject, Calendars of Thetis. The timeline of Thetis is illustrated within three calendars, the Elven Calendar, the Imperial Calendar, and a Chantry Calendar. The Elven Calendar is the oldest recording with the first established date being 1FA. FA, while not known, is suggested to stand for the founding of Arlathan, the elven capital city. This will be the starting point for the rest of our calendars as well. Again, being the oldest recorded event in Thothosian history, the elven calendar is no longer used except perhaps by some Danish clans, however that's just speculation. The elven calendar was torn away from the elves when they were first enslaved, then they were forced to abandon it when the Chantry forbade all ancient elven teachings and worship during the exalted march on the dales. Next we have the Imperial Calendar. The Imperial Calendar is the main calendar in Deventer, constructed when the Deventer Imperium was founded. Thus the first date on this calendar is 0TE. This in relation to the Elven Calendar is 6405FA. Anything that precedes the founding of the Imperium is marked by a negative number. So the founding of our Latin, as marked on the Imperial Calendar, is negative 6405TE. The Imperial Calendar was abandoned for a time when the country embraced the religion of the Chantry and began using this calendar. Until the Venter broke away due to different views on the proper and dry state and the use of magic. The Venter then formed the Imperial Chantry and reverted back to the Imperial Calendar, which they continue to use today. The youngest of the three is the Chantry Calendar. The calendar is the cause for some confusion, but here we will break it down as best we can. First off, everything before the creation of the Chantry is referenced by a negative number followed by the term ancient. Thus, the founding of our Latin will be negative 7600 ancient. We can also fit in the date for the founding of the Defender Imperium as negative 1195 ancient. And that's how the Chantry identifies everything before its creation. The rest of the Chantry calendar measures time and ages, the current one being the Dragon Age. Each age lasts approximately a century and a name for the next age is chosen by the Divine at the end of the current century. The Chantry calendar began upon the election of the first divine, Justinia I, starting the calendar date at 1-1 divine. This date is broken down thusly. The first number is in reference to what age we are in, and the number of centuries that have passed. The second number is the year within that age, followed by the age's given name. So using 930 dragon as a reference, the date would be broken down as such. 9 being a century since the calendar was created, meaning there has been 9 centuries so far. 30 is the number of years into that century, so we are 30 years into the 9th century. This is followed by the name that the divine has chosen for that century, this one being Dragon. Now that we've explained each calendar, there are several key dates we can put into each calendar for our own reference. We've already established the founding of the three calendars. Next we have the first contact between Elves and Dwarves taking place in 3000 FA, negative 3405 TE, and negative 4600 Ancient. Next, when humans explore Thetis, in 4500 FA, negative 1905 TE, and negative 3100 Ancient. We will also add a date we are all familiar with, the start of the fifth flight and where the Warden starts their journey, in 8429 FA, 2024 TE, and 930 Dragon. And the last one we'll put is the last one we know of at the end of Trespasser, marked as the Exalted Council at 8443 FA, 2038 TE, and 944 Dragon. All there are more dates we can add, the rest of the ages in the Chantry calendar to explore, name of months and even holidays. This will conclude our breakdown on the Thetis calendar for now. I want to apologize if you found this video long or overwhelming, but I wanted to go over the three calendars in one go. I felt this is a video that needed to be made that I can point back to regarding dates. I do hope this has helped you to understand the calendars and Thetis a bit better. With that, this has been the lore of Thetis. I hope this has been helpful. If so, please leave a like and subscribe for more. If there's a topic you wish to see me explain, leave a comment or message me on Reddit, Twitter, or Bioware Amina. I hope you all enjoyed our exploration into the lore of Thetis. Hope to see you next time. Ben Haral and Unsolved.